Hello? Ooh, what you drinking, girl? Um, A little bit of honey black with iced tea. Ooh, honey black with iced tea, girl. <laughs> What's your name, baby? My name is Christina. The people call me Wavy K. What you want me to call you? You call me Wavy. Wavy? Okay, where you calling me from, Wavy? I'm in Atlanta, but um, I'm from New York. You're from New York. You live? Where do you live? I live in Atlanta, but I don't come outside over here. I, I go outside when I go outside. It's in New York. I'm home when I'm here in the A. Okay, what do you do for a living? I am a stay-at-home mom and an entrepreneur. I call myself the Pod Mother. What does that mean? <laughs> I helped um, pave the way for podcasting in the hip hop game. So you help pave the way for podcasting. And are, are you the first cop podcaster? Um, one of the first female um, podcasters in the hip hop genre. In the hip hop genre. How long you mm -hmm. had your podcast for? Well, this podcast that I have is new. It's a year strong, but my one prior to this was about 10 years. 10 years ago? No, it was like, it, it lasted for like 10 years. When did it start? It started when? in 2008 and it went to about 2015. I took a break. And then I went back to it and then I stopped and now I'm here. Okay. So are you a <laughs> podcaster still? Yeah, I have a podcast. Yeah. Okay. You say stay at home mom. How many children do you have? I have two kids. Um, my yeah. son is three and my daughter is seven. Okay. How old are you, Wavy? I'm 38. 38. Um, your kids by the same man? Yes. Why y'all not together? You got a three year old. Girl, he is, you know, I, it's all love. It just didn't work out, you know. He is what I call a spiritual thought, and yeah, he's doing a his thing. A spiritual thought. Yeah, he's 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 real spiritual. He's in the community, you know that that spiritual community, the woke community. He's real big over there, and he even he's he has his own love show. And he's trying to find love, and I'm all for it. Okay, so he's big <laughs> in the spiritual world, and he's a he sleeps with a lot of the women in that world. It, it's, I don't know who he sleeps, but I just know that he's just too friendly to be in a relationship. That's just what I know. Okay. Okay. All right. So this is Wavy Atlanta, stay at home mom, an entrepreneur, two kids. Have you, were you guys married or no? No, we were together for nine years, but no, not married. Okay. What's your zodiac sign? I'm a Capricorn. Capricorn. All right, boo, what kind of man are you looking for? So look, I have a long list. So uh, okay. List? So I want to be swept off my feet. I want a masculine man with good hygiene, strong, rich, not only financially, but spiritually, mentally, um, health-wise, and with his family. A romantic man. A man who believes in God. A spiritual man. And um, I'm going to just throw this in there. My love language is words of affirmation and bank transfers. Let's talk about the money. All right. So your love language bank transfer means you like people depositing checks into your bank account, correct? I got to like them though. Not just if I don't like you, then I'll send the money back. But if I like you, then yes, I like that. That's, you know, to me, I like that. Cool. A love language. So, was, so let's break it down. How much does this man have to make in order to date you? Um, Six figures. So when you say six figures, you're talking about 100K or more than 100K? Yeah, that's fine. 100K and up is fine. 100K and up. And mm -hmm. you want him to be generous where he's putting money in your bank account at times. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Now, was your child's father like that? Yes, he was very generous. But that wasn't enough to keep you all together. It, it's, yeah. I, I didn't have the romance. I want romance. I want passion, you know? Okay. This is a faithful relationship where you can have other women? No. No other women. No other women. Just me. Do you want more kids? Um, if I was to be married and the man has to be rich, whereas we can have like a living nanny because I'm not doing it all over again. Okay, so you will have more children if he's rich enough to afford a nanny. Yeah, somebody that can live with us so I can know them, you know? Oh, and like, you want, so you want the living nanny? Yeah. So this is like, I mean, I don't know. I'm a throw maybe. At least a 300, 400, probably the minimum. Because living yeah. nanny, a living nanny could be, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know the top of my head. But I'm assuming 24 hours, like, 
that has to be at least ten thousand a month. Maybe? Yeah, like I just want some help. You know, um, I I did it all already with my two children, and if I'm gonna have kids again, I'm going to have to be married. I'm just changing things around this time. Could he come? Could he come with kids already? Yeah. Okay. Does he have to be in Atlanta or New York? Um. No. Mm -mm. No. Does he have to look a certain way? See, I'm all about mental. Um, it's like it's mental for me. You have to be like intellectual. I need to be able to learn from you. So the physical can kind of, um, you know, depending how your mind is, your physical really, you know, it, it's not the end all be all. But I would like an attractive man, um, preferably, you know, healthy. So in shape. But I like dad bods too. You know, you can have a little little tummy and all that. It's cool. But just not like overly like big. So listen, you're a podcaster, so I know you'll be able to respond to this easily. You know, my cousins, they are outspoken. And when I post you as a highlight, they're going to talk about your request as a financial, the nanny. And I know some men might say you have two children, three and seven. Um, you have requirements now that you didn't have for your child's father. Um, and they may feel as though you're delusional to think <laughs> that you can get that type of man with that kind of money. What do you want to say to that? Well, um... I'm a believer that we create our realities. So what I want, I will get. And it is on its way to me. So what they say means very little. Simple as that. All right. <laughs> Let's do the Kendra can, baby. I didn't tell you what my um what my no goes were. Okay, we'll go back to that. Okay. I apologize. I'm kind of you went to like you you said um transactions had to be and I had to go right to that. Okay, we see your body. <laughs> the body turn all the way around. All right, so thank you for reminding me. What are your deal breakers, Wavy? Okay, so here we go. It's a long list too. I don't want a vaccinated man. I don't want a closed-minded, indoctrinated man. I don't want a man who doesn't question the shape of the earth. I don't want an insecure man. I don't want a man that does not know how to show affection. And um, I don't want a man who's nonchalant about me. So I want to ask you about one thing. You said you don't want a man that is, does it question the the flatness of earth? Just the shape of it. Like, and I don't know what the shape is, but I just like, to me, certain conversations, if your mind is set one way, because that's the way we were taught, I just feel you should have an open mind when it comes to everything, because we really don't have the answers. Mm, we don't have the answers. Okay. Okay. I thought Christopher Columbus discovered that the world was round. You don't believe that story? Okay, Who made that up? Wait, he said, I don't know no Christopher <laughs> Or Columbus. The only Christopher we acknowledge is. Wait a <laughs> I need to be there when it happens. So if you think the world is round, you're not the man for me. No, because no, you can think that, but you have to be like, I'm not really sure what, what shape the world is. Cause that's how I see it. The smartest person is the person who knows that they really don't know nothing. So if you are set strong on that, it's because you're you're kind of like you're kind of indoctrinated, you know, like that's what you were taught. You don't question nothing. And I need you to question everything. What about higher religion? Do you believe in God? Um, I do believe in God. I do believe in God. Um, I, I'm spiritual, though. I was raised Christian Catholic. Um, I don't practice religion anymore. I have my own um, connection with the higher power. Just because of what you just said about the world being flat and we've been taught stuff and, you know, you just can't believe everything that you're taught. And keeping that same mindset in mind, do you question God? Do you question if there's a, a higher being? Because, you know, none of us saw that either. So do you have questions there or no? Um, No, I question religion itself, the, the, you know, structure of religion. But I know that there is a higher power and I feel like there's one God, regardless of what religion it is that you um, decide to practice. Okay. Fair enough. That's her beliefs. All right, Wavy, when was your last relationship? Um, Publicly, five or six months ago, but in reality, two years ago. Why you say publicly five or six months ago? Because I wasn't telling anybody my business and I was just letting them think that I was still in the relationship. And I came out, you know, publicly and said I was single about five or six months ago. Okay. Um, you don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask, when's the last time you was intimate with someone? 
two years ago. Two years ago. Okay. Oh, you haven't had sex in two years. So are you waiting for a relationship? Um, not necessarily. It just has to make sense. Just has to make sense. Okay. So this is Wavy Atlanta. What's the age range you would date? You're 38. Um, so I would say 35 to 50. 35 to 50. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time you was oh you already answered that? We already did that. My bad. 35 okay. to 50. Why do you think you're single, Wavy? Um, at this point in my life, I'm single because I was um trying to heal myself and really figure out what it is that I wanted in a relationship. I don't want to repeat um what I went through before. So I'm probably single because I'm being really um selective Very when selective. it comes to yeah. Okay. And why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Um, a guy would be lucky to be with me because I am my heart is big. I'm a great lover. Um, I aim to please. Wavy? Yes. Say the next time to act up. So let's get to it fast. Why would okay, okay. Be Once you experience Wavy K, there will never be another. Okay, give them your how can they reach out to you? Instagram, I am Wavy K. I am Wavy K at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Okay. Listen, I enjoyed you. You're definitely going to be a highlight. So keep me posted when your response is, okay? Okay. Thank you, Kendra. Bye, sweetheart.